Well, welcome back. We're here with the Iowa Agriculture Secretary, Mike Neg, uh, to talk about several issues, a lot going on to, to discuss. Let's start with carbon capture pipelines. Oh, the Iowa Utilities Board uh, just started the hearings yesterday in Fort Dodge. Two companies looking to build pipelines. They're touted as, you know, good for farmers, good for corn. What's your take? Where's the Ag Department stand on these? Because you know, there's the issue of eminent domain, too, now. That's right. Those really are the two issues, right? You know, you know first of all, so uh, Department of Ag doesn't have a, we don't have a formal role in that process. And certainly what you've got starting up now in Fort Dodge is uh, the Iowa Utilities Board holding those public hearings, which are an important part of that process, right? So so on its surface, you can say, look at the, the carbon capture, carbon sequestration, lowering the carbon intensity of ethanol, biodiesel, anything that we're doing in ag is, is a good thing. And and there's there's value in that from an economic standpoint. But what we're talking about here is really that eminent domain land use piece of this. And, and any time that we're talking about uh, private property rights and trying to balance that with economic uh, activity and the greater good, uh, there should be a lot of attention paid to that uh, we need to try to achieve balance there. And so this this hearing, this opportunity for folks to be able to uh, uh, make their case, have their questions answered, be fairly compensated for the use of their land. Those are all things that are really important. So, uh, you know, obviously this is going to play out over the next couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, we're, we're watching it uh, very closely mm -hmm. as well. But uh, that's that's the balancing act, right? You've got something that that can be very good for ethanol. But on its at its core, you're talking about private property rights and land use, and, sure. and we should pay great attention to that. Eminent domain should be should, used should be rare. It should be used in cases where there's significant voluntary um, agreements in place. I, I think that applies here as well. All right, we'll see what, uh, what lies ahead in that department. Yeah. Uh, how about the drought, the heat going on right now? How concerned? Are you about this? Is if we were to get rain at this point in the season, is yeah. it is it still early enough to do any good? I feel bad for Jacob. He's having to talk about yeah. these heat in, indices all day, and and I'm sure there's plenty of parents this morning who are telling stories like we walked uphill to school both ways, and there were <laughs> and no it was hotter there than was, this. There was no air conditioning on the bus or at school, and certainly praying for a, a safe first day for all of our our kids across the state. Look, uh, uh, you know, the short answer is, could rain still help this crop? You bet. Uh, and what, maybe one of the saving graces of this this heat dome that we're under is that we do have those high uh, dew points and we, we do have humidity with this, which isn't completely drying out, uh, you know, the moisture that is there. But make no mistake, this heat will impact. It's, it's challenging for livestock. It's yeah. challenging for this crop. And you know it all year. There has been a bullseye of drought right over Woodbury County and, and western Iowa. Uh, unfortunately, we're, we're setting records, and uh, another record that we've just crossed is we're now in year three, really, of, uh, of consistently having drought in the yeah. state of Iowa. Um, but yet there are parts of this state that look really good and have had timely rains. Sure. And uh, so it's, it's, it's a mixed bag, as it usually is, but where it's been persistently dry, I certainly have concerns about the crop. How concerned are you about the federal farm bill? Yeah. All indications they won't get it done this year, but they don't don't seem too concerned they'll have something next year. It's it's not a surprise, or it's it shouldn't concern folks that we won't have a new farm bill by the time this one expires at the end of September. So an extension is not uh, it's not the end of the world, though it, the concerning part would be if we can't get that farm bill done by the end of the calendar year or very early next, then you're into an election year, you're into a presidential election. Hard to imagine that a farm bill, get, bill gets passed as we get later into the year. I, I remain optimistic that this can get done. I think the, the Speaker of the House has said as much. I think you've got on the Senate side some interest in getting it done. Uh, but we need to see some action here. When they when Congress comes back in September, look for the House to move a bill. And if, if that doesn't start to spring open here uh, fairly early, uh, then, then, then it's maybe a time to be more concerned. We've got great voices, uh, certainly Congressman Feenstra, Congressman Nunn, and uh, our, our two senators, uh, all, we have four, four voices as Iowa on the uh, House and the Senate Agriculture Committees. We have a chance to have our voice okay. heard. I got the rap cue a little bit ago from our producer, but I do want to ask you first about Choose Iowa. And your yeah. program unveiled at the Iowa State Fair uh, to promote homegrown Iowa goods. What, what's this all about? Couldn't think of a better place to <laughs> launch that than the State Fair. Uh, you know, we did this this year just, just last week, but it's all about, uh, we're, we're, we'll promote markets anywhere in the world, international, domestic, or local. This is all about creating a brand around Iowa-grown, Iowa-made, Iowa-raised products so folks can start looking for Choose Iowa. That'll be the brand that you'll see in the grocery store or on a restaurant menu or, or wherever, and you'll know that that is an Iowa product. All right, very good. Mike Nag, Iowa Secretary of Agriculture, thanks for joining us in studio today. Oh, it's good to see All you. Right.